Rachel, you were there on January 6th. Yes. You've also been following closely what the Trump campaign is saying. And even this morning, he's been following this, mm -hmm. and he's been posting things on social media, and even deflecting and saying, eh, it's not that big of a deal for me. Maybe it's something Joe Biden should worry about when it comes to presidential immunity. Well, I'm told from a senior advisor to the Trump campaign that we are expecting a statement from the former president at any moment now. Actually, we just got it. Uh, the former president says that this is a big win for our Constitution and democracy proud to be an American. That is the first reaction coming in from Donald Trump to this ruling today out on the campaign trail. He has made retribution a core part of his message. We saw it on the debate stage just days ago. He said that this would have big implications not only for him, but also for future presidents, including President Biden, saying that uh, in the future, President Biden could also have to be faced with something very similar to this. There is no question about it. As John Carl just noted, this is big for Donald Trump because time is something that his campaign, that the former president, were deeply worried about. They did not want to see this trial happen any closer to Election Day, Whit. And, and can I just make one yeah. very quick point? So while it is an absolute total victory for Donald Trump in the legal sense, this the court does not affirm what Trump has been saying on the campaign trail. Trump has been saying that presidents have absolute immunity for anything. That you cannot charge uh, a, a president or a former president for anything that happened while while uh, he or she was president. But the court does say, in the, opi in the opinion, there is no immunity for unofficial acts. The president is not above the law. The issue here is that it would just, it's going to take time to adjudicate what is or was, is not an official act in the case against him. Yeah.